each level in the ORE, when I say level, I mean um, the control of, of an individual planet, consists of two uh, assemblies. Um, you have two gears that are uh, screwed together, and between them is an arm uh, out of which will be a, a rod that the planet sits on top of. This happens to be Jupiter. And it's been set up with a clutch and, and the screws in such a way that you can uh, make adjustments to this. So when you're setting the orrery, you'll be able to put you know, Jupiter where it belongs in each of the planets. Where they belong, you know, when you're setting the date on it, and then from that point on, as the orrery turns, they will stay in the correct proportions. The second part of, of the um, of the sandwich consists of an idler gear or an idler arm with two gears on it. These are uh, press fit together, and I'll show you how I do that. Um, and then there'll be a, a pushing in here, and then this sits on here so that this gear meshes with this one. And this gear will mesh with the next layer, so the uh, rotation of the upper layer will turn this, which will turn the gear below it, which will turn this entire assembly. Each level in the orrery consists of uh, four gears, two arms, and then some bushings and spacers to keep things apart and level. Um, the spacers, I made an earlier video when I showed you how I made these out of white um, Teflon. It later occur, uh, came out in the design that they needed to be thinner. Each one needed to be 15 thousandths of an inch thinner than I had originally made them. So I, I, switched, I, I switched to a product which is a composite of uh, Teflon and Delrin. Um, there's no real difference in the way it functions, but aesthetically it um, blends in with the gear better than a bold white you know, Teflon would have. Uh, anyway, I'm going to take you through the assembly of uh, one particular level. This is uh, the Jupiter level. This is the arm that will hold the planet uh, Jupiter. This, um, little turning will be press fit into the end of the arm and there's a hole in it that goes most of the way through the depth and then a, um, you know, a rod will just stand on here with the planet sitting on top of it. Uh, and then this is the idler arm. I've, um, I don't know if you can see that, but I've, I've press fit a key into here which will lock onto the um, the key slot that we made in the main shaft uh, very early on in the videos. Um, so let's get started. First I'm going to press fit this um, planet support into the end of the uh, Jupiter arm. I, when I do that, I take a short piece of the, the rod that's going to go in there and I, I put it in the support so that when I'm pressing down with the, uh, with the arbor press, I'm not pressing on the visible part because I just don't want to do any damage to it. Um, it's a very easy fit. Um, now I can remove this. Um, and now when it's, um, when it's put in place, we'll have a place to put uh, the Jupiter planet support. The next step is to assemble the two gears that are going to um, ride on the idler arm. They're the gears that um, transmit motion from one level of the orrery down to the next. I begin by taking a piece of uh, 
ground steel rod. This has been you know, ground to exactly a quarter of an inch. Um, I had I cut the length using the um, the Dremel tool attached to the lathe, which I showed you in an earlier video. And now this is simply a matter of um, pushing it into the into the gear. It's going to um, And that's that. It's now um, it's now press fit in there. It's not going to go anywhere. The next step is to uh, is to build up a little sandwich here of uh, a spacer. Um, the idler arm itself. Another spacer. And then the, uh, the final gear. Once that's done, I've made a little shim, which is uh, four thousandths of an inch in thickness, and I just place it in there so that um, when I squeeze this down, I do leave enough space for the gears to rotate freely. Switch to a different holder here. Um, this takes a little fidgeting, as you can see, but um, it's not that complicated. And that's you now that's just the way I want it. It's a nice fit. The next step is to, uh, to screw the, um, these two gears together with the, uh, with the planet arm in between. I've drilled and, and countersunk uh, three holes in the upper gear. I'm going to be using these uh, rather small um, they're half inch um, 256 threaded uh, screws. And the way this works, the lower gear has been uh, drilled and tapped. So now it's just a matter of lining things up. That's the, uh, the bearing for friction. Then I made these uh, clutches that go into the planet arm. That goes next. And then another bearing. And finally the, the top gear. This takes a little fiddling to get lined up, but in a moment I'll have this all put together. Um, and then the last step is to just bring this back to the mill and run the, the same reamer I used before to ream each of the individual parts. I run it through one more time just because, you know, nothing is assembled perfectly. Um, I just want to make sure that there's a clear um, 0.377 hole through the middle so that thing just sits properly on the shaft. Now that the sub-assemblies for the <coughs> Jupiter planet have been uh, completed, it's simply a matter of placing them on the stack. You'll note that this gear is now going to mesh with the uh, lower one here. And then another another space.
spacer goes on. And then the idler arm. Um, these are very subject to, uh, to fingerprints. Um, but anyway, the idler arm, which, as I mentioned before, has a, a key pressed into it, that is going to uh, lock into the shaft where the key slot is. And this is going to come down and mate with this gear. So you can see that um, obviously the entire orrery will be run by this crank which is turning the center shaft up here but for now I just have to do it by hand. Um, Um, I have I have to make some adjustments to this, but you get to see the basic idea is that the uh, the gears transmit their rotation down through the stack, making everything work in the proper uh, portions.